Make sure you guys go check out my new merchandise available in the link in the description below. What's going on everybody? Super Saiyan Paul here back at it again. Today we are playing Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy guys. We are back in the Let's Play era for me at least. And I can't wait to play a bunch of games for you guys. Make sure you guys subscribe, turn on notifications, as well as follow me on Twitch because we're about to jump right back into all these old amazing games. So, without further ado, we're going to jump right back into the start of it. And here our journey begins with our Savior Jack. I have spent my life searching for the answers that my father and my father's fathers failed to find. Who were the precursors? Why did they create the vast monoliths that litter our planet? How did they harness Eco, the life energy of the world? What was their purpose and why did they vanish? I have asked the plants, but they do not remember. The plants have asked the rocks, but the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do not recall. Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. Oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth, and rejecting of my guidance. And why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of Green Eco. One of the wisest men on the planet. <sighs> so it seems the answer begins not with careful research or sensible thinking. Nay, as with many of fate's mysteries, it begins with but a small act of disobedience. Hey, uh, Jack, old green stuff told us not to come here. Continue your search for artifacts and eco. If the locals possess precursor items, you know what to do. Deal harshly with anybody who strays from the village. We will attack it in due time. What are we doing here anyway, Jack? This place gives me the creeps. Huh? Oh, stupid precursor junk. Eek! What is that dark ooze? It sure don't look friendly. <gasps> the sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time. Where did they go? Why did they build this crud? Now, I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. But if you ask me, they must have been real losers. Wow! How did you do that? I think we're in trouble! do you two want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was... Don't tell me. Instead of heeding my wisdom, the two of you went mucking around in the only place that I told you not to go. Misty Island. That's right. And then we... And, Daxter, you finally took a much needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark eco. Look, old man. Are you going to keep yapping or are you going to help me out of this mess? I'm going to keep yapping because in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, I couldn't help you if I wanted to. What? 
There's only one person who has studied Dark Eco long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Karl Acheron, the Sage. But he lives far to the north. Far, far to the north. Nobody has spoken to him in ages. I would teleport you there, but I can't do that either. None of the three sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. The only other way north is by foot through the Fire Canyon, but its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it if you had a zoomer equipped with a heat shield. I just happen to be working on such a thing at this very moment. All I would need is 20 power cells to give it enough energy to withstand the canyon's heat. Isn't that right, Daddy? Yes, Kira, that might work. But where are a boy and a half going to get 20 power cells? From the villagers. Most of them have a power cell or two stashed away somewhere. And even if they aren't willing to just give them away, greasing their palms with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. And I bet there are even more of them out in the wilds just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've got the brave adventurer at least. Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. Before you do anything else, you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Eh, uh, we won't find any more of that dark gooey eco stuff, will we? Cause I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you! Get in there! Before I turn you both into ferns! Ah, the throwback to Geyser Rock. Man, oh man, where the journey you all begin. Ah, same old, just talking all that crap. But there's just something so magic about this place, especially with the fact that, like, this is the beginning of it all. And, like, you can see the entire game from, like, a certain point. Actually, multiple points at the beginning here. So that's what I absolutely loved about it. And, yes, we have to get the precursor orbs. Oh, so I'm gonna buy this as a kangaroo, yeah, mate. Anyway, like, I just recently played the new God of War, and it just reinvigorated me to play, like, games like this, where it's, like, an open-world adventure, because that game was just that good. And, like, when you go back to this game, at the time, PS2 era, this was just amazing for what they, they created. It's still great to this day. Yeah, we need the power cells. But remember, guys, like this was like one of the first games I ever got. I got it with my birthday, uh, PlayStation 2, and this was years ago. And this is like one of the first things that I got with it, and one of the best presents of my life. Alright, so we're gonna go over here because Jack is literally a Dragon Ball character in a video game. It's literally like a Dragon Ball Z open world game. And I will always, always stand by that. Like, people didn't always agree with me on that. I still stand by that because there's so many, like, Dragon Ball references from not only, like, references-wise, but look at Jack's design. It's, it's, it's a freaking Super Saiyan. It's a freaking Super Saiyan. And he turns Super Saiyan 3 in Jack 2. Oh, I messed up that. All right, grab the power cell. Remember, guys, this is the PlayStation 4 version, which is really the PS2 version ported upwards to 1080p, and not the PS3 version, which actually has the higher res textures and stuff like that, but more glitches. Look at that. Okay, Kira, we get it. This is my third time playing out the channel. We get it. But look at that. Like, I appreciate all the small details, like that flying orb there, like the giant precursor orb looking thing. I mean, power cell it, it's just like some things like that and how the, like the windmill is still moving and stuff all that cool stuff and seeing where the future of the adventure is going to take place there's a better spot to look at it but just seeing this grand adventure about to jump on and play is just great all right so we're going to go over here with the speed eco the blue eco yeah 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 that's blue eco which contains the energy of motion I kind of already went on the, the blue eco crack juice, so it's okay. We understand it, Samos. We understand the mission. Awesome. I absolutely loved every form of eco. I always related every form of eco to something out of Dragon Ball Z. Like, green would be Piccolo's healing ability. Blue would be Super Saiyan 2 speed. Red, K.O. Ken, and, like, the massive power boost he would get, like, if you were in, like, K.O. Ken times 20 and stuff like that. And yellow just full-on Super Saiyan getting the key blast and all that good stuff. This is a precursor door. It can only be opened by approaching the door while channeling blue eco through your body. I need blue eco in my body. You hear that? I need to channel the power of Thor. 
in order to do this. Now, I did some weird things with this well. Not, not the way you're thinking, but you're about to see in a second once Kira shuts up. An unlimited- OH! I ain't trying to get eaten today. Damn, that was close. There's a little bit of info lag, but yeah. Like, I used to stand- Like, if I was playing by myself, I would stand still in certain spots, and what I would do is I would have little, like, role-playing type of things in my head. Like, in Jack 2, it got worse, but I'll tell you guys about that when you get to it. But, like, here, I'll be like, I am Jack. I am a Super Saiyan. Here's my first person point of view of a Super Saiyan with an aura around it and what it would be like. And that is the world I must take over. Yes, I have all the power in the world, young buddy. But, ignore what I just said and look at this view because for real, for real, you can see everything out in the distance here and it's just amazing. Absolutely amazing to look at. So we're about to jump over here, run towards the door and absolutely decimate it with the power of Thor and nyaw 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 nyaw. Is that all he calls every All right, so we're gonna grab that and then head down here, get the rest of the precursor orbs, and we're gonna ninja across, fall in the water. You didn't see that. We need to get up top here. And guys are rock. I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it for a tutorial state and everything like that. I never understood why it took so long to explain what the green ego was because it's like, yo, we just seen this like throughout the whole area and it's kind of self-explanatory but still explain the power of eco for me same oh shesh we're basically maxed out on health we grab these uh, and that's 43 okay now we can head over here and grab the last set and then for the final two up here oh that was close i thought i didn't get it guys the rock 100 percent complete as of right now and yes guys this is 100 percent playthrough and on top of that not only get 100% this game we're gonna be 100% in a lot of other games so make sure you guys follow me on twitch subscribe and turn notifications to the channel also like the video and comment down below with your jack and daxter memories we're about to activate this warp portal and now that we did this we're heading to the green sages hut here we go good training boys but that's nothing compared to the challenges that lie ahead. And in no problem! We got the moves, eh, Jack? We'd love to stay in chat, Big Green, but we're, uh, itching to get on with our adventures. Fine, fine. Adventure away, then. And while you're out adventuring, why don't you make yourself useful? My darn green eco-collectors are clogged up again. Head out to the far side of the beach and clear them out, why don't you? Follow the lamps. They'll take you right there. Now, all of you, get out of here! Alright guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all of your viewership. Smash that like button, subscribe, follow me on Twitch. I'll be seeing you guys next time. Until then everybody, take care. Peace! <laughs> Oh,